roll with ice. Oh, these boys, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ Pack. Know I'm gonna roll with ice. Oh, these boys, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ Pack. Know I'm gonna roll with ice. Right, so you join me at Big Tesco's, you hear the echo. You know what time it is, isn't it? It's like 1 a.m. in the morning. I told you, bear funny, funny business at this time, but we're out here trying to get you, man, the content, of course, yeah? I know you like the POV night jobs, and we're actually doing a POV walk around right now. Usually I whip out the iPhone, whip out the DSLR, but look, let's try something a little bit different. So anyway, on to this week's competition, which is a stays Two Tuned FATM Free Finishing Sapphire Black. The car looks 10 out of 10. What are you talking about, bro? Look at the car. We've got the CS slash GTS style rear tail lights. Obviously these didn't come on the M3s, they came on the M4s, but wow, have a look at that. Apparently this car stays to tune 580 horsepower. I'm slightly confused because you've got EAG specialist cars who actually sell a lot of M performance cars. So I don't know, are they tuners? Do they sell cars? I, I, I'm slightly baffled as I say. Someone in the comment section let me know. You can see we've got this carbon fiber duck lip. We also got the three piece carbon fiber diffuser with the M performance exhaust, perfect size tail tips. Looks 10 out, I said 10 out of 10, three times now but come on look at the stance as well people we've got the m3 cs style alloys must be 20 inches all around i haven't actually checked but they're finishing like a gunmetal gray the car's been lowered it's been spaced you can see the blistered arches the typical trait of the f80 m3s as already said finishing sapphire black We've got the M3 mirrors. This is a modification that a lot of M140s try to do to give it that M3 style look. And uh, we've got carbon fiber side blades. We also have a carbon fiber splitter. All of these sections here are all done in carbon fiber here. We've got carbon fiber kidney grills. We also have an upgraded intake system, which sounds amazing. Uh, you'll hear it when we go out for a drive. Cabin wise, we have leather door cards, black leather seats. These are actually heated. They've got electric memory functions, seven speed dual clutch transmission, which has most likely been mapped. We've got carbon fiber here, carbon fiber here. We've got heads up display, which means it projects the speedo and also like map data on the windscreen. Obviously we've got the iDrive and you know, it's got the typical Bluetooth, electric windows, all the creature comforts you could ever need for a nice daily driver. So guys, let's jump out in the car and see what she's like. This one for the master. Just a little bit. There you go. There you go. Ricky driving precision. Obviously, you guys know the M3s by now, man. There's so many different driving settings. We've got ferocity speed settings on the gears box. So we can obviously slow down or speed up the gear shifts. Uh, we've got it in the faster setting. Gives it a bit of an exaggerated thump when you, when you change shifts. Of course, it changes shifts as fast as possible for maybe performance driving. But we know these cars, they do get a little upset, don't they, on the rear end. Man, this car is loud. <laughs> it sounds pretty sick, you know that. Very talky, man. Apparently 580 horsepower. I think it's got to be one of the more powerful M3s that we've done. Everybody claims different horsepowers, you know, until you get it on a dyno, we ain't really gonna know, but I can say that this feels quick, very quick. 580 horsepower, man. Man, listen to the intakes. Hear him. Sick. <laughs> Got a lovely driving decision. Let's get that seat up a little bit more. Man, it feels a little quicker than the RS3, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, man, we've got that a &E sharp steering. Doesn't feel over the top. So I've been driving a lot of cars recently, so interesting to get back in the M3. So yeah, have a listen. Windows down. Reminds me of the Eventuri that I had on my M3. M4, sorry. You've got two turbos, guys. Like, the response is actually ridiculous. And of course, look, you want to cruise it. There's not much road noise. It's a nice, comfortable daily driver, but the second you want to take on a track day or take for a nice spirited drive, these cars are absolute weapons. Still the benchmark, 100%. Of course, there's the odd car out there that is up there with the M3, but... Fast, fast car, man. 
So yeah, we've got a three litre twin turbocharged inline six cylinder engine, 580 horsepower. It's a nice power, nice reliable. Obviously you know that you've got the crank up issues with these cars. I'm not sure if this has been done, but it's not as common as people think. It's definitely, uh, you know, something that you should have done if you own an F8, especially if you plan to modify your car. But, Yeah, man, she goes sideways. We've got electronic limit slip diff. Yeah, it just loves to overslide. Doesn't feel like a super low down. Like you almost got these electric style maps. When I say electric maps, I'm talking like you know, like a Tesla. Like how much low down torque you got. Some of these, there are some. There are some awful maps out there. Basically, is what I'm saying. But the key for the F80 M3 is to spread out that torque, spread out the power, bring power further down the RPM. Man, the way it just slips to the side. It feels so nice. One thing I've always said about M cars is they are a confusing car. You know, sometimes they want to go sideways, sometimes they want to grip. They produce a lot of traction. So on track, they do run fast numbers, like, you know, when you compare them to their rivals. But for me, I've always said that with these cars, if you are planning to go sideways, you really have to commit to going sideways. Some Mercedes cars, you can kind of just, you know, exit, slip the throttle, or just press the throttle a little bit and it will just step out and it's a nice buttery smooth slide you know with the m3s it's almost like you gotta go right i'm going to drift and dedicate and unless you've got like shitty tires on and for me my m4 I had to, it took me a little while to master it or have the ball should i say to to light up the rears and stuff yeah it's interesting because it slides and then it sort of grips really quick but yeah this is oh man you can't beat an f80 m3 man Instant gear shifts. Wow. You know what? It's like, obviously, you guys know how much I praise M3s, but they truly are amazing. Even now, after all the cars that I drive, even comparing it to my Evo, it's a really special car, man. It's so on point, it responds really quick. You know, if you make a mistake, it's not a clumsy car, it can correct itself. Actually sounds pretty nice. That exhaust tone combined with the intake up front. Wow, listen to that boy. <laughs> Sick. It's mad, that tiny bit of water that we just went over was easily enough to spin up the rear wheels. Quickly upshifted. Crazy man, I'm just flicking through the gears and we're just keeping it moving, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh man, those twin turbos for the kangaroo in because they're in Sport Plus. So, like, um, what happens is when you put it in Sport Plus, guys, it shortens the travel of the throttle, which means you have a much smaller throttle to play with for adjusting it. So, you almost get this. See that kangaroo in? A lot of people like to keep the throttle in comfort or sport. So now we're starting to get some heat in the tyres. So it's definitely getting a little bit more difficult for those rears to step out. That's all it is, man. Get heat in it. Heat in the wheels and she's good, man. Glued. Mate, the way you can just... Bro, I'm telling you, you know what? I'm talking about my Evo, but this is like... This is me, man. This is fucking me. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a racing car, man. Jesus Christ. I mean, look, you can just keep it moving, man. It just flies over these bumps. And look, you've got the perfect power. I mean, more than enough power. I'm gonna say perfect power, a bit too much power. These cars in stock form are good enough. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, somebody will be winning this car for 199. And uh, yeah, the fuel is going down really hard. <laughs> 24 miles. I think we're gonna have to wrap this video up in a sec. But um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna just keep whacking out the content, man. Like, why not, you know? Nighttime POV drive. I'm sure there's not many people that do POV drive, so I'm just trying to be that guy, do you know what I'm saying? A lot of people in different countries, like Auto Top NL. Of course, this is definitely not no Auto Top NL review, but still cool, isn't it, to do POV. But yeah, as I say, uh, tickets 199 on in this one. Literally, if you're watching my channel for the first time, you could win this very car this Sunday at 10.30 for 199. Obviously the more tickets you buy, you increase your odds. And we've got some awesome 
awesome competition going live this week. We've got a Subaru uh, WRX Type UK, uh, STI, that's just gone live, tickets 99p. But this car, obviously, very, very special. But check it out, LLF Games, link in the description. I think I will end the video there, people. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Roll with ice, hold these bodies, my guy. Know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep wave on my side, CJ Hack. Never got a roll with ice, hold these bodies, my guy. Know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep wave on my side, CJ Hack. Never got a roll with ice.